everyone, this is Crystal, and today I'm back with week five in my 2020 Project Life album. Uh, I have my photos already printed. You can see I have two 4x6 and uh, two 3x4 and then two smaller ones. I am using the uh, Possibilities Kit. This is the Possibilities Life Crafted Kit from Citrus Twist Kits. Um, this is the February kit. I have used this just a little bit, but I've got lots left to play with. So um, I am gonna just pull all of these goodies out and get started. So I am just pulling out everything that was in this kit and kind of laying it out so I can remind myself what's here and what I have to choose from. Uh, and then I'm gonna lay my photos out where I want them on the page. So like I said, I have two small photos, two four by six and then two three by four. So um, even though three of those photos are from the same day, they're from a hike, that uh, Jesse took with the dogs. I decided to break them up on the page just because I didn't like um, them all kind of grouped together. I liked it the way it looked much better with the smaller black and white photos kind of interspersed with those very naturey photos. So um, it doesn't bother me to not have them all together. It's all from the same week and that's really all that matters when it comes to these spreads. So I'm going through the cards and papers now trying to decide what I want to use for this spread. And I start by pulling out a few um, with some blue in them, but uh, I eventually decide that I want to stick stick to more uh, warm neutrals for this spread. So I'm going back through and pulling out uh, ones with lots of yellow and neutral tones, and I'm going to stick to that color palette for this for this page. So I have those pulled out. Um, now I just have to decide where they're going to go on the spread, and I I'm not entirely sure how I want to do this. So I'm going to just kind of lay things out and um, preliminary preliminarily and uh, then go through the die cut pack and um, give myself some time to think about how how I really want this to look. So um, I'm just going through the die cuts to look for anything that's in that color scheme, anything with a sentiment that will work for this spread. I do pull out a few things with some blue in it, but I don't end up using those in the end. Um, I really stick with this kind of yellow and um, neutral, and then I do add a little bit of that kind of corally orange color that's in this kit as well, um, just in a few spots. So, um, like I said, just pulling out some things, not being too concerned about where they're gonna go on the spread just yet. I'm just kind of piling them up, and then I'll go back through and edit and decide where they're gonna go once I work on um, each individual card. So, pulling things out, almost done, almost through the, uh, the die cuts. Um, I have plenty there to work with. I definitely won't end up using all of those, but it gives me some options as I work through the cards. So um, thinking now about how this is really gonna work, uh, I had that floral card at the top, but it was just feeling a little bit too busy. Um, and there aren't any alphas in this kit. Um, there we, we got the foam phrases instead, so I'm gonna have to come up with another way of adding my title to my title card. And uh, I figured that would probably be stamping, um, which would be harder to do on that floral card. So I moved the floral down to the bottom and uh, I added just the plain grid paper that was in the kit to the top and that's what I will use for my title card. Um, I am trimming down the smaller photos that I printed now so that they can fit on these two three by four cards. I generally print um, in three different sizes, uh, either four by six, three by four, or two and a half by two and a half. And I usually leave just a small white border on those two and a half by two and a half photos. Um, these happened to be black and white, um, but it doesn't really matter that those are just the three sizes that I choose and that makes it easier for me when I go to print. Um, I only have to choose between those three for each photo. So I know that I'll need a spot to stamp my date on my title card, so I went ahead and trimmed out one of the labels from the cut apart label sheet that comes in the kit. Uh, and then while I had it, I decided to um, cut out another one because uh, I thought I would want to add just a couple lines of journaling to that top photo. And um, I know that I want to use the details phrase from these foam stickers, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim that out. Um, I don't want to stick it down just yet, so I'm just cutting away the plastic so that I can make sure I like the way it looks on the page before actually sticking it down. Uh, and while I have that there, I'm gonna um, trim out a few of the hearts and spread those around the, the spread as well. Uh, and that's really gonna be the main um, embellishment that I use on this page. 
I'm just looking through the other things. I will end up adding a couple of those puffy stars as well, um, but I'm going to go away and do my journaling first. So um, there is that number numbered card on the bottom right uh, pocket, and that is where I'm going to add most of my journaling for this spread. So I'm going to go away to my typewriter and type up just a few lines and uh, then come back and start putting this spread together. So when I trimmed down the floral card for that bottom pocket, there was just a little strip of it left and I decided to add that to the bottom of the grid card that I'm using for my title card. And um, that's just going to tie in that paper, um, tie the two together and add a little bit more color to my title. And for my title, I, I've decided to use this uh, Alpha Stamp from Citrus Twist. This is an older one. Uh, I'm not sure if it's still in the shop, but if it is, I'll be sure to link it down below. Um, I've had it for quite a while, and actually, when they first released it, it was missing the V. So the stamp set that I've been using uh, didn't have a V in it, which hasn't been a problem until today, actually, when I wanted to spell out the word five for week five, I needed that V. So I had to go um, pull out the other set that they sent us. A replacement uh, that had the V in it and um, grab that and then I was able to stamp out the rest of my uh, title. So I'm using a uh, Versa Magic ink in um, I think it's called Mango Madness maybe it's Mango something uh, again I'll link that down below as well and it's really hard to see on the screen but in person you can definitely see it it's very light um, it's very subtle this whole spread tends to um, turns out to be somewhat neutral and somewhat uh, subtle. It's not super bright, um, but you can definitely read it in person and that's really all that matters. Um, and I do end up liking the, the color palette for, for this week's spread and how kind of light and neutral it is. It works really well with my photos, which are very um, nature centric. So it all worked out really well in the end. Uh, there is a bit of a gap between that die cut um, that I added to the title card and my actual title and I'm going to come back later and add one of those puffy stars to fill in that blank space. But right now I'm moving on to the next photo in my spread. There was uh, that little die cut with the sunshine on it and then I added the label next to it and I'm just going to handwrite um, what the photo is, just where they were and um, that Jesse had taken the dogs for a hike and then I'm going to finish it off with one of those um, white foam hearts and I had a bigger one and it just looked too big in that spot so I grabbed one of the smaller ones from the sheet. So just working my way through the photos now I am uh, adhering down all the die cuts that I've chosen and adding my photos to the cards and um, I I, um, I do want to add a title to this one. It has a blank spot at the top and since the other card had printing at the top I want the, um, the photos to line up on the page so I'm going to add the photo to the bottom of this card just like I did the other one and then I'm going to add a little stamped sentiment to the top of it to add a title. So I'm just looking through both the stamp set that came in the kit as well as the Traveler's Notebook um, stamp that was released this month and I'm going to combine two of the stamps from those stamp sets. So it's going to end up saying Documented Magic and then I'm also going to add uh, a, this little grouping of stars from the um, the other stamp set that was released this month, the larger 4x6 stamp set. I'm going to stamp that little group of stars in that same uh, yellow mango uh, ink and then I'm going to add um, Documented Magic in black next to that. So that is going to be the title for this card. And then the only thing I will need to do is to adhere down my photo and add the little die cut that I've chosen for this card. So um, I'm using just VersaFine Black Onyx ink for this one. It's my go-to ink as long as I'm not stamping on something slick. This is usually what I use. Uh, I always get a very crisp black image when I use this ink. So that is the one I tend to reach for. So there I've added my photo and I've added the die cut. And again, I'm just going to add um, a little foam heart. That's kind of my my formula for for this spread. Um, for this larger photo I've added another die cut and I'm going to add two hearts just because it needed a little something extra. It looked a little plain with just the one. And then I can work on my final card so I'm just adding the journaling and um, I'm 
because this is a four by six card and I'm using a three by four on top of it, I could have just added it all the way to the edge and made it look like two three by four pockets, but I decided to um, bring it in a little bit so that you could see the pattern of that paper behind it on the left hand side. And I, I really like the way that looks. It just adds a little bit more detail on that side. And then I added the um, tag from the die cut pack and that details title there as well. So to finish off the spread, I'm just gonna add a few of these stars, spread them around the page. Um, I'm trying to get more of that um, kind of corally color. So I added one of those um, to the title card and then I'm gonna add a yellow one on top of this die cut on the photo I am uh, holding right now. And then just to make it three, um, I'm adding one to the bottom card as well. And then I didn't like them stacked on top of each other, so I just moved those two photos around. Uh, and that doesn't that doesn't bother me to move them around a little bit. And I like the way that the stars are spread out across the page a bit better. I tried to add another star to the uh, title card. And looking at it now, I actually like the way it looked. Um, but in the moment, it wasn't looking right to me. So um, I took that off and I'm gonna play around with the placement of this star for a little bit. And eventually it's gonna end up pretty much right back where it started. And then that is gonna be it for this spread. I just add a few staples here and there to um, make sure that um, these little embellishments are all adhered. And then that adds just a little bit more texture to my page as well. And because I'm using gold staples, it's just a little bit of sparkle too. And that's gonna be it for this spread. So there are lots of close-up photos coming up. Um, I hope that you enjoyed watching my process and that you got some inspiration for using your kits. Um, we are almost at the point of um, the next month's release, but there are still kits in the shop, so I'll be sure to link those down below. If you haven't already picked one up, uh, you can go and do so, and be sure to watch for the reveal of the March kits coming soon. Uh, thanks so much for watching, everyone, and I will see you back here soon.